what's going on guys welcome back to the channel and to another video let me ask you a question are you having a hard time finding a good shop anytime you need an alignment whether you need some extra toe dialed in or some camber for your track car or you just need a regular alignment for your regular car well if the answer to that question is yes then stick around to the end of this video because today i'm going to be building a chassis mounted string alignment rig which will enable you to make alignments on the fly. Now, let me explain what are the benefits of such a rig and what items you will need to build one, which you could easily obtain at your local hardware store. In front of me here, I have a most common mock-up of string alignments techniques out there, which is you have a uh, two jack stands in front of the car, a pipe running across the width of the car, same thing in the back, and then you run strings alongside of the vehicle in order for the setup to work and be precise and give you accurate results you need to ensure that at all times you have a perfect square around the vehicle otherwise your measurements will not be precise and you will not get the result you wish for now the problem with this setup is anytime you want to make a change or adjust the toe for example in the front you will need to Right, most likely raise up the front of the vehicle and adjust the tie rods and then put it back down well anytime you do that vehicle will either shift slightly left or right and you will have to reset the the square within the vehicle to get perfect measurement which is time consuming because the uh the jack stands and the strings are independent of the vehicle now in the setup that is mounted onto the chassis of the car anytime you lift up the car the square lifts up along with the car and then when you put it back down it's, it's in the same spot so if the car shifts left or right the strings along the sides of the of the vehicle remain in the same spot therefore you will not need to recheck them every time you make adjustments which saves tremendous amount of time so that is the main benefit of building yourself a chassis mounted alignment strings makes the process a lot smoother with less headaches. So let's take a look now what's needed to build such a setup. And you will need about three pieces of 10 foot, three quarter inch pipe, along with some bushings. Well, I'll get to the bushings in a little bit. First, what you wanna do is measure the width of your car and get a rough uh, idea how wide it is in my case i will need to cut this uh two of these uh, these pipes to about 72 inches in length uh, that gi that gives enough room on each side you just need enough to make nice and easy measurements first uh, we need to make the cut i actually moved it i'm gonna for my car i think i changed the measurement i'm gonna use 78 inches instead of 72 it's because uh, the back is a little bit wider so uh, make sure you measure your vehicle so it uh, so that you have a nice and uh, comfortable distances between uh, the strings and each axle <laughs> next what you need to do is cut a little notch on each end of the pipe the notches are so you could uh, place the string and attach the string going along the side of the car so um what i do is i'm just gonna mark half and make sure the distance the distances are even so i'm gonna do about an inch from the edge when you want to make a notch maybe halfway no more that way the the string can just nicely go into the groove something like this i'm using a chop saw so my uh cuts are nice and straight if i using a hand, if i was using a hand saw i would probably take both of the pipes front and back and try to cut them at the same time so i have a nice even cut it in the same location so let's let me flip sides and do it to the other side now uh, that we have the uh, the pipe the crossbars cut now we got need to start working with these these are what's called uh, i think a snap uh, bushing they're three quarters and what's nice about these is 
you could slide them right over the pipe like so see and that's your your holding point for your for your um, for your arm and you will they have a threaded end at, at the end here so you need bushing something like this that has a thread as well and you just thread it in like so get some wrench and just and by the way this is gonna be very mobile because you could just dismount it on the go so it's not something that you have to glue or anything like that it's you could dismount it in fairly quick time so we need uh, we'll need a few of those and I'll show you where to mount them momentarily once you have those situated you want to take a look at your vehicle in my case it will be this um, and you want to see want to get an idea where are you going to be mounting it so like this is going to be the resting place for me here so i need to figure out how tall i need the upright to be because uh so i could adjust it so the line is goes directly through the center of the of the wheel so i'm gonna be using mine on more than more than on this car i'm gonna be using on that car as well so i need to take account both cars dimensions so i'm gonna make them a little bit longer in my case i'm gonna make them about 30 inches long that'll give me a good adjustability have it nicely cut to 30 inches in length and what you do is you just stick them inside here See, the good thing about these bushings is that everything goes nice and snugly so there's nothing is loose so your rig will be nice and sturdy. Same thing on this end, like so. Next, what you need is take another snap bushing and what you wanna do is place them right here. That's gonna be your height adjustment. Like that, okay? See where I'm headed, headed with this? It all comes together now, right? Like that. So now you have, this is your strings. This is your string uh, crossbar. This is your height adjustment. Now we, what we need to do is your, your anchoring point. So uh, let's make some measurements and we're gonna do, figure out what, uh, how long to make our anchoring point for the anchors i have the leftover pieces from the pipes i cut prior so I'm, uh, they look about about the size i need so i'm going to just test them out for now uh, so just stick them right here and we're gonna make a test fitting after you mount them take another snap bushing see all you need is these snap bushings then you place it right here this is gonna be your anchor adjustment see like so make them somewhat even and let's go to the to the car and uh, test it all right let's make a test fitment of, of this beauty let's see point here is that this is highly adjustable like you could adjust the height here if you need to See? you could adjust the width everything that's necessary to make sure that your string runs dead center across your wheel so so far so good even the anchoring points are adjustable I could move them in and out if necessary so looking well let me just close the hood and see and this is pretty sturdy if you ask me what i could do is 
if necessary we could add another cross by here uh, to make it uh, more sturdy but it is pretty stout right now so for now i'm just gonna leave it like that and um let's focus on the back side and then we're gonna mount them together there we have the back rig Tighten it a little bit here and here. These in the back actually don't have to be that long because the anchoring point is right there. But uh, so far, so good. Looking good in my opinion. We got the front and back rig completed. Next, I'm going to pull the car inside the garage and ring the string along the sides of the car to take some measurements. We need level ground for this. So that's why... Uh, I can't do it outside because we have gravel and the suspension needs to be on a level surface for the measurements to be accurate. Now this is the beauty of this uh, setup is that I could just get inside the car and pull it right in. If this was on the ground independent of the of the vehicle I would have to take everything down and reset the, uh, the whole setup. This I could just pull right in, run the strings along the side and uh, pick up where I left off. For the fishing line I use a nice lime green line. This way it's, uh, it's bright and it's easy to read the measurements. And for the weights you could use pretty much anything as long as the line is tense. There's no slack. I'll do it. I use 4 ounce weights. Uh, that seems to work well all right so we have our strings ran ac across the sides of the of the car we could pretty much take some basic measurements now but so far looking pretty good as you as i was mentioning this is highly adjustable you can move it up and down if need be say you need it higher or lower depends how how tall your uh, your center of the wheel is it's uh, very versatile and this whole setup costs about fifty dollars if i must say and uh if you do a quick google search these kits like that cost upwards of five hundred dollars so some ingenuity a little bit of your time and you could have yourself set up just like this and uh, you could start doing alignments on your own time to your own spec because I know some of these shops are very funny when it comes to uh, if you go and ask them and say I want extra two degrees of camber up front they're like oh no we can't do it because it's not in the book now well now you could uh, you could do it yourself so let me take some quick measurements to make it make sure that the uh, uh, we have a perfectly square box and uh, we'll take it from there i would highly recommend this type of a uh, measuring stick this is nice stout stick and uh, which has millimeters this is what, uh, what you're going to be using this one even has increment of uh of half a millimeter which is even more precise so that's an added benefit as well so um Let's take some measurements with, uh, see where we have a perfectly square box. Let's take the first measurement. I would advise to measure from a hard point on your rim because some of these center caps have play in them. So uh, get a more trustworthy measurement when you use right on top of the center cap. So we have what we got we have 92 and a half millimeters here we have 95 so we need to adjust a few millimeters there we have 92 and a half as well on both sides of the front axle now the rear axle is probably going to be a little bit wider since the stance of this car is wider in the back and for that matter most 
most of the cars the rear is usually wider so as long as you have the front axle distances front axle distance the same on each side that will be okay rear we got 109 millimeters and the other side we got 109 as well so we have a square box around the car we have 109 on both sides on the real axle and we have 92.5 on the front axle so we have a perfectly square box which is essential uh, for having a precise alignment specs in this situation now I'm not going to do a alignment right at this current minute I just wanted to demonstrate how easy it is to build this type of rig right at home using items you could obtain at your local hardware store for pennies on a dollar I mean this whole setup costs roughly around $50 which is a quite a discount if you were to buy one of these online it would go up to $500 for a full set which is kind of high for such a simple design I mean look at this I mean it's highly adjustable and the main objective here is mobile I can move the car front and back side to side and the the box that uh, the rectangle around the car the strings are, are fixed to the chassis therefore if you move the car left and right it moves with it so your measurements do not change which is very important and uh, saves you a lot of time when you're doing this type of alignment if you guys are interested in a video on how to do an alignment on this type of a vehicle just drop me a comment down below and I'll do a follow-up video how to actually do alignment on this m3 but until then thank you for watching give me a like if you guys enjoyed this content consider subscribing to the channel and then i'll catch you on the next one peace